Welcome to this guide on managing your Google Classroom stream. Often your Google Classroom stream can become a bit unwielding due to the amount of posts and comments that are on there. And actually the thing that you might want people to see can get lost. So I'm just going to give you a quick guide on how to keep this uh, organized and making sure it's accomplishing your objectives. So first of all, one thing you can do with any post on the stream is you can move it. So if by clicking on the three dots, if I click this one, I can see I can move things to the top. So if there is a post that you has got lost a little bit, such as this one, I can then click on the three dots and click move to the top. So this will be the first thing that the students will see when they come into the classroom. If I click on the three dots as well, I can see where I can also edit uh, or delete the post or copy the link and share that with students in a different way, such as via email. But the other thing you might often see in your Google stream is the replication of posts that are posted in classwork, so assignments and questions. So this is a bit of duplication and often the majority of people don't want them here, but they want students to go to the classwork tab to view their assignments and work. So we can actually stop these from appearing. The other thing you might often get is students posting. And so here we can see a student um, and often the posts we might see are not often related to the learning objectives and can be distracting. So if we want to, we can manage this as well. And we do this, we're going to go to the settings. So that's the cog icon in the top right hand corner. I'm going to click on the settings and then scroll down. So under general, the two options I want to look at are here. The first one is stream. And this changes where I can change what my students are allowed to do. So by default, they can post and comment. The other options you have there is students can only comment. That means that you as a teacher need to initiate the posts and then they can add their comments to that. And this means that you're not going to have lots of different posts started by students. So that might be a way of minimizing some of that content on the stream. You also have the option to only teachers can post or comment. So this will mean they can't comment at all. Um, obviously, if you still want to have some communication collaboration going on in the classroom, you should allow them to comment. The other option you see here is classwork on the stream. And if I click on the little drop down here, I can either show attachment and details. So if I want to see more details rather than just a condensed notification, I can click that there. And that will mean that they won't necessarily go into the classwork tab, but the students will just go on the stream. But I could also click hide notifications and this will remove them altogether. So if I click save, we're going to see how this looks a bit different now on my stream. So as you can see, it's tidied it up. Obviously, a past student uh, comment is still there. They won't be able to do that anymore. If I wanted to, I can click on the dots and delete that comment just to keep my stream a bit tidy. So as you can see, it's just my post there now, making that stream a lot tidier, and then they can go into the classwork to check on their assignments and questions.